And every closing represents two opportunities, a buyer and a seller. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. You know, why, why are these other agents still succeeding? Why? I thought, I'm gonna read. I read book after book after book after book. Favorite book ever, The Slight Edge, Jeff Olson. Only book ever read twice. It'll change your entire life. Kinda like the compound effect, but Jeff Olson showed Darren Hardy what's up. Another book you all need to read, Shift by Gary Keller. It will really put the market cycle into real perspective for you and you will understand how to handle certain situations that you might be scared of now. So in 2008, I got laid off from the oil rig. We got a new president, not gonna mention his name in 2008. Some things happened in the oil industry, got laid off and I was forced back into real estate and I had already been dabbling because guess what? In 2008, when I was on that oil rig, I was working every other week, coming home for a week, going to the rig for a week, coming home. I looked on MLS and I noticed an agent really crushing it. He was still Everybody else was getting out of the business and he was still crushing it. And guess what his name was? Scott Myrick. The same guy that mentored me in the very beginning. And I went back to him. I called him. Hadn't talked to him in years. I called him and I said, man, what are you doing? You closed 30 deals last year. In 2006 or 7, you closed 30 deals. 2006. 30 deals. That was, that was amazing at the time. We were, our market was completely dead. He said, come over to the house. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. So in the beginning of my career, you know, remember he showed me you know, how to do postcards, how to look up numbers, how to call people, what to say, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I, I go over to his house, we sit down, he pulls his computer, we start talking and everything, and guess what he showed me? How to do postcards, how to do letters, how to look up numbers, what to say. It was all the same exact stuff, right? So I said, okay, cool. So I started doing it. And by the time I was still in the oil rig, and then by the time I got laid off, I started to do the things I needed to do. And by 2008, I had a little momentum Already. some clients I was talking to some positive things were happening so I decided I was gonna go all in I remember getting laid off from the oil rig and I closed on a few properties within about 40 days after that which was amazing this is this is after like a four-year drought of no sales you guys don't know the feeling of losing everything going homeless thinking you'll never sell property again don't know where your life's going and then to close on a couple properties knowing that seeing some seeing a light at the end of the day I, I can never explain that feeling but I do remember I had to borrow $500 from my dad the week before because I burned all the money I saved from the oil rig and I had to borrow a little money from him to make it to those closings and then I was off to the races okay now what switched for me what really happened okay there was something in one of those books the combination of something maybe shift the combination of something in that book and the fact I was watching MLS the whole time trying to figure this thing out and I realized that a lot of my clients that were buying and to oh three four and five were still buying in six seven eight they were selling they were still selling and buying in six seven eight the same people just with different agents and something clicked and I thought wait a minute the markets crashed closings continued to happen Scott sold 30 properties if I would have maintained the relationships with those people then I would have continued to represent them buying and selling properties at the bottom they were selling bad assets and buying good assets so then something made me say wait a minute because I was only looking at new listings and sales and something made me go back and look at the entire market over the last two or three years through the crash and you know what I realized closings happened every single day and every closing represents two opportunities a buyer and a seller so you take the, the number of closings you multiply it by two and that's how many opportunities that it, that an agent had that day that day we're just looking for one or two sales a month there are closings happening every day that represent two parties the opportunities guys are endless regardless of the market transactions may go down but think about it like this the industry is this big let's and you are a a dot you're not even a dot in the industry it's so massive let's say it goes down 50 percent you're still a dot in a massive industry. I want you to realize that business is 100 million percent unlimited for every single agent. That's what I realized. And that there are an unlimited amount of loyal clients for every single agent.